Good morning, everybody. I'm I'm Trey Reeves, and I'm one of your pastors here at Crossroads Church, and I just think it's an honor to always just bring this Devo to not only to our staff and everybody. So really what's been on my heart is about forgiveness. And, you know, when things are on your heart, God is taking you through it. And and about when people do you wrong and people just, you know, get on your nerves and you want to choke them and all this other kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, we got to walk in forgiveness. You know, the Bible tells us to be tenderhearted, forgiving one another. Don't let malice and clamor and angerness and bitterness all come because those are the things that will cause us not to be fellowshipping in Christ and we want to give people the right hand of fellowship, but that we got to actually give them love, right? So, and we got to come with that. And I and um, I had the opportunity to talk to our young people over this past weekend. And really what stood to me is when Simon Peter denied Christ, you know, here was his boy. They was hanging out together. They was doing all these different things and he denied Christ. And especially when Jesus was going through a, a tumultuous time in his life, he was brought before the high priest. He was getting ready to die. And then his boy abandoned him. So how many of y'all have been abandoned by y'all friends? How many of y'all have been people, people who has walked with you has just left you by yourself, right? And so that's hurtful and it really feels bad. And, or we've done that to people ourselves. We saw them in trouble and we walked another way, right? And didn't really come in to then help them out. But I just love what happened after uh, all that happened. You know, Peter, he walked away, he, he was hurt and he was dejected, but because then he didn't even have a chance to go back and apologize, right? But he didn't remember that Jesus said he was coming back. So when Jesus came back, he appeared three times, and it's still at that third time, uh, Peter was just out, and he just got tired, and he said, I'm going to go fishing. His boys went with him, so he didn't let them go by himself. He did, they, they was with him to support him and all that. And I look at the fact that how many people are you supporting when you see them dejected or hurt or going through something, are you coming alongside of them? Are you helping them? And when they heard Jesus' voice, hey, fellas. And then John, he was awesome. He's like, hey, that's Jesus. That's the master. And Peter quickly put on his tunic, jumped in the water and went to Jesus. And Jesus already had breakfast made for him. How many of you all will sit back and somebody hurt you will do something nice for them, cook them something to eat, feed what they're going through. Then he asked him, after he fed him, after he took care of his knee, hey, Pete, do you love me? Do you love me, Pete? He said, yeah. He said, well, take care of my lambs. Feed my lambs, excuse me. He said, do you love me? He said, yeah. Well, take care of my sheep. Do you love me? So Peter at this time got kind of annoyed. You know, if somebody asks you something three or four times, you're like, hey, come on, man. I just told you twice. And he said, yes, I love you. Well, then feed my sheep. So basically what we got to do is we got to feel the need for people. We got to take care of whatever that need is right that moment to help them be restored. Secondly, take care of them, walk alongside them, encourage them, be there for them, and then constantly feed them with the word of God, encourage them with the word of God. And that's what it's all about, y'all. So don't allow somebody, especially us as believers, to allow somebody to be hurt or so as to go through the hurt. Be there beside them, restore them back, encourage them, forgive them, love them. Again, we got to be tenderhearted and forgiving one another, just as Christ forgave us. All right? Y'all have a great day. Peace.